Hello and welcome to Indie Play. I'm Herbis, and this game is called A R E S. And this is something different. This game, of course, has a story, but the uh, problem here is the text goes away quite quickly, so I don't really know the story because I don't have the time to read it. I'm not that fast of a reader, so yes, let's just skip it if you want to know the story. Uh, you can buy the game and play it. I'm just here to show you some gameplay and maybe to recommend you this game. So here is junk section six hours later after something happened. And as we see there is a girl talking to us, Val Kale. And uh, of course she's gonna tell you what to do with the situation and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm using a controller on this uh, game. I'm playing this game of course on the PC. It, it shows both uh, the keyboard controls and uh, the gamepad controls, which is nice. Thank you for that. And yeah, let's just do this. So this game is kind of a platformer shooter thing. And within the play right now I'm trying to do something different than I've been doing up until this point and that is now I'm going to play the game before I actually record the game. Uh, so I can tell you a little bit of, about it. Well, like, I, I'm playing right now as I'm talking about it. Uh, so, yeah. This chick is gonna tell you a lot of things. You can get a repair kit, upgrades, you can change equipment to a different gun. Like, this gun I prefer, prefer more because it's more powerful, it covers more area, but it's slower. It doesn't really concern me that much, uh, but anyways, yes. Cindy, put in the plates. What I'm going to do now is play the game before I actually do an indie play of it. Play it to the point. I think uh, I know enough about it to tell you about it, and I'll I'll mostly cover games that are good. So yeah, this game is obviously good, as I said I was going to cover uh, good games. Okay, her cannon is ready, so I'm gonna use her cannon. For some reason I did a backflip for that. And it killed all things, all robots. And I guess that helps a bit. Now the difficulty level on this game is uh, shut up yeah I know yeah fine I'll use it like this can be annoying a bit her telling you what to do but I guess that's just because it's the start of the game I would prefer if I could switch her off which I, I'm not sure if I can do options idea of gameplay no so yeah and here's one problem for me with this game the enemies respawn like right after you leave the section of the screen they respawn hold on let me show you well you pretty much see an, a good example of it here so yeah about controls they do feel all right i guess they're not perfect they won't always work perfectly well, but they're all right. Here's the first mini boss, I guess. I feel like here, I'll keep messing up because I'm. Ah, fuck's sake! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! See, I died, and that's only because of controls and not because I suck at this game. Yeah. Let's do this again. I 
I want to see if I can buy an upgrade, uh, not upgrade kit, but repair kit. I do recommend shooting with the, the right analog stick if you're gonna use a controller because yeah, that's much better than just aiming with the directional pad and shooting with the button which makes you move in the same direction as you're shooting which I don't like I can do this Yeah, now I have a a new weapon, I guess, which is a grenade, and you can use it like this. I don't see it very useful. I haven't seen it very useful in this game, but it does. You do need it for some sections of the game, as just as well as you will need the EMP grenade that will come a bit later. Ow, okay, yeah, I'm a moron. Let's play the game actually. This game reminds me a little bit of Metroid, but I have never played Metroid, so I'm not a really good judge about I can't really judge it that way. It just I guess because the main character has armor and is a woman. That makes me think it's Metroid. Ah, first bo for bo <laughs> first blood battle. Uh, it's not that difficult. As long as you move around and try to avoid and try to actually hit those things, uh, you'll be fine. Also, now this part I found a bit trickier because I didn't know what could hit me and what couldn't uh, but those red things red glowing things those can hit you and apparently that can hit you but no I did kill the boss I think it was the boss who else would be the that big yeah and now I got the EMP grenade this chick is gonna tell me that I should acquire it. Again, for the story, please buy the game, play it if you want to get into the story. Interesting. Really? It also gives you stats, and I have a C uh, rating, I guess. The, f the first time I played it, I got a D rating, so you can see how much I suck at this game. Uh, I'm quite terrible. Recycle plant inside junk section. Yeah. Okay, move on. The music is quite well, quite well done. Uh, so there's that. You can enjoy music. You do enjoy that kind of music. Another thing I like about this game is that you have an infinite ammo, which I always support in futuristic games. I don't like collecting armor, ammo. Uh, yes, now this is a data, data cube I collected, uh, which looked like a power cube, but I think I collected a data cube. So data cube cubes provide you with information, with data about certain characters, I think. And, uh, power cubes give you upgrades or something, I think. Yeah. Well, if you play this game, you'll get to know more. You can select the stage here. don't really know why and it looks like there's five stages I haven't had time to check if there's only five stages I think there there are more and there should be more yeah you, you saw how fast I beat the first stage it's not gonna be as fast for the second stage but you know 
should have a bit more things, I think. Uh, how about getting used to the game? Yeah, it takes a while to get used to controls. But, uh, it's fine. It's good. The game is solid. And that would, that is what matters. Uh, at least gameplay-wise it's solid. Story-wise, uh, you'll have to check that yourself. But if you're looking just for a fun time, I'm getting hit by someone. Uh, this game will do the job. Now, this game doesn't do a very good job of telling you that you're low on health. Uh, so, you better look out for that on your energy indicator. Like it tells you, but if you're used to modern games turning your screen in a different color, like red, bloody screen, uh, and dead, dead cube, but I guess I got another dead cube. Yeah, well, I, I'm I'm really used to games turning your screen in a different color when you're low on health. And that helps. That really it does. And in this game, yeah, I died a lot only because I did not notice that I was low on health. Which sucks. I don't like to die. I imagine no one likes to die. Not in real life, not in game. But yeah. And I've been playing this game for 10 minutes now. So, I hope you got the message on whether this game is... Fuck. Wrong weapon. Whether this game is good or not. Oh, dead you. Cool. The note was there. Yeah, so you have to look out for... Yeah, see, I died and I didn't even notice. Even talking about the fact that I... That you don't see... Uh, you don't really notice fuck's sake that you're low on health even talking about it I did not notice that I was low on health this was pointless right now at least you don't lose the dead cubes that's good oh yeah these things that I'm collecting that are falling from enemies. Those are called uh, recyclable items and you can use them to uh, like make repair kits or upgrade your weapons. I don't think you can upgrade... oh no you can upgrade your weapons which is good. I haven't upgraded my, any of my weapons I just kept buying uh, upgrade kits because I keep dying a lot. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to get inside here. No idea, really. Oh, fuck that. Moving on. Yeah, but this game is interesting with that it has those upgrades that you can manually stack. You don't need old. Upgrade, I don't think you need the grenade upgrade. Any of the EMP grenade upgrade. Maybe later in the game you'll need them actually. But up until this point, I. or up until the point I played the game, I really did not need them. So, yes, to finish this up real quickly. We'll get into the boss battle that's right around the corner. Now I think I'll wrap this indie play up. And certainly I can recommend this game to you because it is good. I don't know I don't know the price point of this game, but I think I got it in a humble bundle bundle or something like 
Indie Royale. Yeah, I kept dying on this Indie Battle because... Indie Battle. Uh, boss Battle because I was low on health. So, yeah. Anyways, you saw the boss. Not the boss, mini boss, I guess. Uh, and I hope you know what this game is all about. And uh, if you like platformers that involve shooting stuff, I do recommend this game for you. It's a good game. Support the developer. And yeah, thanks for watching this episode of Indie Play. This game is called Ares, or yeah, Ares probably. A R E S. And I died again. Yeah, so. Good game. Has vibration on vibration on controllers. Uh yeah, go get it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.